Alright guys, uh, today we're going to be talking about the spotted grunter. Bomadiasis uh, comosonia is the scientific name. Um, other, other names, local names, tiger. Um, it was quite a common name uh, down in the Cape area. And then in Zulu it is Nkolo Kolo. I forgot that right. Uh, very beautiful fish, nice silvery color, very large scales for its size. Uh, elongated face. The, the big difference between the spotted grunter and the cock grunter, which is the other species, is that the spotted grunter doesn't have any spots on its face. Whereas the cock grunter looks like a pimple teenager, so it's got full of spots all along its face. Um, like I said, extended mouth, uh, very big tail. So they're designed to work in shallow water, work on the estuaries and the banks, and be able to sit upright and work their way through. Uh, the mouth can extend, so you often see them very similar to a carp, how they push their mouth out like that. And that's to facilitate their feeding. So their main prey is down in the uh, further south, they're targeting mud prawns, uh, Ubojibia africana, I think it is, the little, the darker mud prawn, and up here it's sand, uh, sand prawns, uh, Kalinasa krasi, or at least it used to be, I think they've changed the name now. And these guys live in holes and burrows, and their burrows are actually U-shaped. So what the grunter does is he comes along and he pushes water through on the one side and it just pops the shrimp out on the other side. Otherwise, if it's stuff like worms that have a straight, straight down burrow or things like that, they'll come and also do force the water through. And this actually blows, blows out. And you'll see if you walk on a sandbank um, on a low tide, just after, after a high tide's pushed through, you'll see these little divots. And that's where the grunter have been feeding. They've actually blown the, the sand and mud away. Um, they are a very sensitive species. They don't like boat traffic. So estuaries that have a lot of boats moving through, you're going to want to target the spaces where, the, where it's very quiet. Um, mentioning that where you are targeting them, you do get them in the surf. Uh, mainly near river mouths, because they're associated with, with estuaries. And that's going to be the bigger fish moving from the estuaries out to spawn. And then that recruitment moving from, once they've hatched, moving back through into the estuary to, um, to grow up. So yeah, really if you're wanting to target them, estuaries are your only spots, also the big harbors. Um, they are an, probably one of the nicest ultralight uh, fish to target. So using very, very light tackle to get them. They're not, they're not gonna run 300 meters. They're doing short, short runs, but the lighter you go, the more likely you are to catch them. Because like we mentioned, they're very sensitive. They have quite a large eye, and they can tell the difference between a cracker and a cracker with a hook in it. So you have to use very small hooks. We've actually now gone to moving to using little circle hooks. And you just have to get it just under the tail of the cracker when you put them out. Um, if you don't have your, can't get your hands on cracker, prawn works very well for them as well, pink prawn. Um, obviously the more natural you can get it looking the better. And also your blood worm works well and your, any of your other annelid worms, so the, the ones without the little legs on them. Work, work very well. Uh, in the sea, cracker shrimp works just as well, as well as pink prawn. Those are going to be your best bets uh, around the river mouths. Like we mentioned, very light tackle, because just so you can enjoy the fight that much more. Their big tail, their body, their ability to work in shallow water makes them very strong fighters. For their size, they're actually one of the nicest little game fish to catch. You, the guys have caught them on lure before. Uh, actually, in the Swart Corps, they're now catching them quite frequently on little top water surface lures, uh, your cigar shaped lures, working them very slowly in the morning. Um, but mainly, uh, mainly a, a, a bait feeding fish. The guys do catch them on fly, um, and want, that's just replicating your little, it's called a deer hair prawn that they use. And that's just, as the prawns move around in the estuary, they sometimes get together in little uh, aggregations. And the grunter target these and actually hit them very hard. So if you can find, the swimming prawn migration and you can get your fly in there, you're likely to catch them. Um, but you're up here in KZN, the, the, no one really has really come up with a, a definitive method to target them successfully on, on lure. But yeah, so your best bet, little ball swivel or weightless if you can get away with it if there's not too much current. Tiny swivel and then a piece of fluorocarbon, as light as you can go. 10 pound, 8 pound is where sort of where I'd recommend. And then a small, a small little circle. So we use the little demon circle in about a size 10 or 8, I think it is, that, that, that I use. 
um, and that just through the cracker and then you're putting it out into a likely area so a sand bank with a little drop off is perfect um, if you can set it up right there as the tide comes in he often come, moves along to come and feed on that bank so that's the first thing he comes across um, set your drags very light let him eat the bait and then tighten up on him just to hook him nice in the corner uh, in terms of their growth, they matured about 40 centimeters, so it's quite a big grunter, and that's about a three-year-old fish, so they do mature quite slowly in, in comparison to other fish. Also, tagging data has revealed that they are very, very resident. So, fish are often being caught, 95% uh, of the return catches, so once you tag the fish and it's been caught again, 95% of those are caught within three kilometers of where they were released. So we're talking very, very residential. They're staying in the same area. Um, in terms of sizing, they do get up to 90 centimeters, which is a very, very big grunter. And that's about a 10 kilo fish. And he's roughly, roughly about 15 years old. So very, very slow growing, resident species. They are nice to eat. Uh, they're very light white flesh. But if you are gonna catch them, you normally catch a few in one, in one session. So keep one for yourself, the other ones let them go, uh, let them make more babies and more nice estuarine fish for us to catch. So yeah, get your little light tackle, I recommend we've got an Excella 6'6 six six, uh, ultra light rod, beautiful for that with, I've got a Procast 2000 and 8 pound J braid, that's what I'd use. So yeah, get your ultra light tackle, get onto the estuary and uh, have some fun. Cheers!